Hey guys, so I am going to be going over my complete big turbo setup, build, prices, parts, everything for my B5 1.8T. So this was supposed to be a budget build. Some of these parts are budget, some of them are not. I kind of started upping my power expectations and quality of parts midway through the build. This stuff can be done cheaper, it can be done a lot more expensive, but this is everything that I chose. These are all my parts and how much it cost me. So I'm gonna be going through the whole turbo setup, um, the fueling setup, the block, head, the hidden costs that I found when I was doing this, and obviously I'm still in the process. Um, so I'm learning a lot as I go, but all right, let's get started. Okay, so first I'm gonna start out with the turbo setup on the car. What I chose to go with for the manifold, uh, wastegate, intercooler, and turbo. So, this is the turbo I chose. Um, this is a Garrett style turbo. It's the uh, Pulsar GTX 3582R. It was about $700 um, with shipping and everything. So, not terrible for the quality of the turbo. I've seen a lot of pretty big YouTube channels use these and then make 900 horsepower at 30 plus pounds of boost and I'm not gonna be making that much power so I'm pretty confident in this turbo um, that it'll, it'll do a good job for what I need it to do. So yeah, 700 for this. So next is the manifold, turbo manifold that I bought. I went with a cast, <clears throat> cast T3 manifold. This is actually for like a, uh, a transverse motor versus a longitudinal. Um, this will still fit perfect. I know quite a few people running this and had good results. And it's, it actually sits the turbo in a pretty sweet spot. So. I do have to get a little elbow here for the wastegate um, because it hits the motor mount and that's the only issue that I have to work with so I think this will be a, a good manifold and this was only $90 so that's kind of why I went with it um, and yeah hope to have good results with it so it did come with all the gaskets as well so all that stuff was included for that 90 bucks so not a bad deal. Okay, so next on the turbo setup is the external wastegate. So um, this is not something that I wanted to cheap out on and get like a, an Amazon one or something. <clears throat> so I went with the Precision Turbo um, 38 millimeter external wastegate. I'm happy with it. I think it was about 275 bucks. Uh, I got this from Summit Racing, I believe, and probably one of my favorite parts on the build. I don't know, it's just sweet and I'm excited to hear how it sounds and how it performs. So it came with uh, all of the springs so I can set it up, you know, whatever I want. I plan to run about 28 pounds of boost, give or take a little bit on E85. So that should give me plenty of power and I'm not worried about this wastegate getting stuck and blowing up my engine. So happy with this. All right, I'm trying not to sound out of breath in all of these videos because I'm grabbing each individual part, running up and down the stairs and running them back. So do my best to not sound out of breath, but get my workout in. The next part on the turbo setup is, this is just a no-name Amazon um, aluminum intercooler that was, I think, $110. This is the biggest one that I could find for the lowest price. This is, I believe, 31 by 13 by four inches thick. So pretty good size. This should be plenty to give me good temp. So happy with this. I originally had a smaller one, sold it and got this to 
just keep up with everything else that I was buying. So. All right, so next on the list is the, on the turbo list is the intercooler piping and clamps and hoses and everything. That's in a huge box, so I didn't want to bring that down and show it. I will show it in the clip after this, um, but it's just a universal 12 piece kit that I'm gonna make work. It's two and a half inch aluminum piping, um, came with all the couplers and clamps that I needed. So the only modification I'm gonna have to do is weld in the spot for my map and my map sensor. But that was, I think $180 for that whole kit. Just an Amazon kit, so nothing too fancy, but. Okay, so at the end of each like little section, I'm gonna total up the price. So for that turbo setup, um, everything that I just talked about, the piping, the turbo, the wastegate, uh, the manifold, everything, that was $1,355. So not too much damage there. Um, but that was, that was the total for all of those parts. <laughs> all right, so the next uh, topic I'm gonna go on to is the block. So um, first thing I ordered to build my block was a set of connecting rods. Um, at the time, this is when I was planning on it being more of a budget build and my power goals were lower when I ordered these, but I am still gonna use these because everything I've seen from people with their builds and reviews and everything is that these have been holding up just fine and a lot of people have done measurements and everything is in spec for what it needs to be. <clears throat> and I'm gonna have my machinist who's building my block inspect these and make sure they're all balanced and good too. But these are the 20, 20 millimeter max speeding rods, connecting rods. These were I think about $395. So not really bad for rods at all. If I could go back, I would probably just spend the extra money and get IE rods. But I think these are gonna do fine. Um, like I said, my machinist is gonna inspect these and let me know um, if anything's off. And so they should be fine. So that's what I went with for rods. Okay, so next on the block list is the bearings. <clears throat> I went with the King Racing uh, rod bearings. Uh, I think everybody knows these are pretty good bearings. A lot of people use them. And I wanna say they were about 80 bucks, give or take. I think that's what they were. Let me look at the list. Yeah, these were about $80. Um, so these are the rod bearings that I went with. And yeah, excited for them. Next on the list for the block is my piston rings. I got the Getz piston rings off of Euro Tuning. These I just wanted to do because I'm gonna have my block <clears throat> cylinder walls honed and they were only 150 something dollars. So um, it's just something I wanted to do while I was in there is to get new piston rings and uh, the cylinder walls done. So yeah, 153 bucks for these off Euro Tuning. Okay, so that totals the block section of it. If you do it yourself, that would be the price right there. So that would be just in parts, that's $625. So not too bad for a somewhat built block. That's if you did it yourself. So if you're having a machinist do it like me, then it's gonna be a little bit more than that. I think he said it's gonna be under $400 for that. It's a pretty quick job for him, so maybe roughly like a thousand for the built block, having it done by a shop, so. So next, uh, onto the cylinder head. I'm gonna do this all in one take because the only thing I have to show is the cylinder head bolts. Um, these were 23 bucks from Euro Tuning. These are Victor Rhines. And then I did go with the SuperTech exhaust valves, and <clears throat> I can't show those because those are at the machine shop with my head. Um, he's working on that right now. Um, those were $153, these were $23, so, so $176 bucks total in parts, but it'll be a little bit more than that since I'm having him do that at the machine shop. I think he said that one was going to be under $300, bucks. so say if it takes $300, then that would be $476 bucks for the resurfacing of the head, 
the whole valve job and yeah so 476 bucks for that if it takes 300 but hopefully it doesn't okay so next moving on to the fueling system of the car so i went with bosch 1000 cc injectors um got these from fuel injector connection they were the best price of uh, everywhere i looked and uh awesome company they have great reviews i'll put that all here because it's going to be backwards but um these were 380 dollars i want to say which is a great price for bosch thousands so these will be great for my e85 setup and yeah excited to get these in uh, for the fuel pump i went with a walbro 450 apparently they're ti automotive now i don't know it's been a while since i ordered fuel stuff but yeah walbro 450 for e85 um, and then i have to get lines still so i haven't factored that pricing in but this was 120 bucks from MA Performance, so uh, yeah. Okay, so total from the fueling system was 497 bucks with the fuel pump and the injectors. This next clip is another thing I haven't ordered yet. I'm ordering it today. It is the Ringer Racing H3 clutch. Uh, that's $1,044 from ringerracing.com and then I'm also going to be ordering a flow control valve for my clutch from him as well to help my 5-speed hold the power and not uh, not blow up shifting hard when I'm on the track so uh, the total for the clutch and the control valve is 1245 bucks so it's pretty much they're all going to be above a thousand dollars when you're in this kind of a power range so that's not a bad price at all and it was uh i've heard really good things about these clutches so excited for that one all right so next on the list this is going to be the hidden cost section <clears throat> of the build this is stuff that i don't know maybe other people think about it i didn't really think about um how much all this stuff would cost when i started the build but now i factored it all in and uh so this is the hidden cost that I encountered. I'll start with the gauges. <clears throat> so I went with the AEM boost gauge and the AEM uh, air to fuel ratio gauge. Both of these are kits, so they come with everything you need. Uh, I got these from MA Performance. They were $2.99 each, or, or $1.99 each, my bad. Um, so about $400. These are good quality stuff. So this is what I went with and I'm happy with it. I'm really excited to get these in the car and see how they look. But yeah, so about 400 for these. Another one of the hidden costs on my list was the math and the map sensor. So I haven't got my map, so I'm not gonna factor that in yet, but I did get the mass airflow sensor and that is an HPX uh, blow through map setup um, that costed about 250 bucks with the pigtail to wire it in. A little bit more with the flange. I haven't got the flange yet because I bought it uh, from a guy who was selling it used, but he never really got to use it. They 200, but they're about 250 new. And I don't know that you're required to have that, but that's what worked best for the guy I'm going with for tuning. And it's better than the stock math for sure. So that's what I went with for that. Uh, the next three things on the hidden cost list, I'm just going to go through it all in one take, or try to anyway. Uh, next would be turbo lines, which I don't have all of those yet, but it's roughly about maybe $50 to $100 for everything you need for fittings and lines. So we'll say $85 bucks for that, and then the exhaust setup. Depending on what you do, I'm doing a hood dump, so I'm paying $200 bucks for a teardrop hood dump right off the turbo. Uh, but if you were to go through like a three inch setup all the way to the back of the car, you'd probably be looking at uh, at least over $500. So, <coughs> so, excuse me. So next on the list is going to be um, another hidden cost, which is gaskets. Um, this is nowhere near all the gaskets that I've bought, but um, I think I spent probably at least 150 plus on gaskets and then another hidden cost that I don't have to show yet is belts um, because I'm probably going to replace just about every belt 
in the car for this setup. So that'll cost, I know over a hundred dollars. So we'll just say a hundred plus for belts and 150 plus for gaskets. So the last thing on the hidden cost list would be the tune. Uh, a lot of people factor that in, but um, depending on what you go through, that could be 400 to like a thousand dollars for tuning, unless you're tuning it yourself. Um, so yeah, I will add that up and put it in the last clip here and we'll see what our total's at. So for the hidden costs, I added up the gauges for 400, the gaskets for 150, $100 for the belts, um, $250 for just the mass airflow sensor. Um, I added $100 for the lines and then um, $180 for my exhaust because that's what I'm going with. It'll be more if you do the full exhaust, but and then I'm adding the lowest amount, so $400 for a tune, and that would be roughly around $1,300 something dollars. I'm gonna add all of the total build up and see what the damage is. Okay, so I gotta try to get this clip quick because my camera's about to die, but this is the total that I am at for my build. There is gonna be probably more stuff that I need, but it's $5,388 is what I've paid for so far, including the clutch that I'm ordering today and the control valve and all that. So I'm shooting for about 450 wheel horsepower, give or take some. Hopefully we can figure out how to get a little bit more out of it, but that's what I'm. That's what my goal is. Uh, it's gonna be a track car, the car's fully gutted. I'm gonna be making videos about it and, and all the whole process and start filming more. I have a lot recorded that I haven't uploaded yet. Be the price of my build so far. Like I said in the beginning, it can be done cheaper and it can be done more expensive, but that's roughly what I'm at right now. And this is not including my machining work that I haven't got the bill for yet. So it's gonna be more for me. I think it's worth it. And I love this platform and this car. I've had other 1AT cars, but this is the first one that I'm really pushing to a limit where I think I'm gonna have a lot of fun with it. And hopefully everything I chose, it'll be reliable and uh, at least get me some fun out on the track. So. Yeah, thanks for watching the video. Stay tuned and uh, yeah, let's get it.